Hey bats and ghouls, I am here doing some Halloween shopping home decor yeah, and I'm at the store called At Home. So what did we get? We got all sorts of goodies today so far. I've got, and, and this is for not just Halloween, this is for our home. Um, we're walking away from all the Halloween stuff for some reason, I don't know why. We're turning around. But we are turning around to go back to it. So if my wife stops a second, I can show you what we picked up so far. So, let's see if I can show you better. I'm gonna flip the camera. All right, so this guy was kind of creepy looking and he would make like a nice little piece to just sit on and sort of sit, sit somewhere in the house. He lights up, sure in the dark it looked good. I can always use it in the DJ set. We got some tombstones. They're heavy. They're like super duper heavy. And we got like some little knickknacks I can put in my coffin shelves. Frog's breath, bat wings, stupid little goofy stuff like that. We got a World of Motion ghost projector that I might use for my DJ streams. Then we got down here, these are bleeding candles and they're big. So I'm assuming that the wax strips out red once you light it, light the wick. We also have these really cool velvet type, um, they're skulls, but they're like a velour covering on it. And then this one's like red glass and it lights up. You can't really see cause it's, oh, there you go. You can kind of tell. And then we got bleeding candles. I already showed you up. There's the other one that goes with the skull. These are actually taper candles that can go into these really, and they're they're heavy. They're not like lightweight uh, candle holders. And the best part about what we got so far, keep it spooky on this retro frame. And I thought this was so rad. Uh, it was actually the missus who saw it first and was like, hey, and I had to get it. I just thought that like the retroness of it was cool, the frame, and then the projection shadow light puts ghosts and everything. I really like that. Oh, what else do we get in the cart? Uh, let's see. She wanted the, what would you call that? Uh, uh, iridescent iridescent oil, slick. oil slick skull. And then we found this like skull holder that you could stick a bowl I don't know we're gonna put a few things back but this is what we got so far and I'll show you more of the store here in a second so this is just some of the aisles here these are things that I don't know if I would put in as home decor I might but we we have such limited space uh, let's see here go down so this is more of their fall, fall, autumn type stuff. So if you're looking for like Thanksgiving stuff, but then they also have, back it up here, all the pumpkins. Oh, hello fall, welcome mats. See, I'm looking for stuff that I can have year round in here. Then there's little things that are really cool. Like I really like these candle holders. I thought those are kind of cool looking. Um, these are like light up candles. Let's show you the this little button here. I wonder if this will work. Yep, so it just lights it up. Unicorn skulls. Lots of really cool artsy looking pre-made pumpkins. This is their under $10 section, which I think, did we buy anything over here? I don't think we did, but yeah. So this aisle seemed to be more like lawn ornaments, lawn decorations, things you would put like in your yard if you had that kind of space and not everybody does obviously. 
we live in an apartment. These are kind of cool. I like the white, the white pumpkin stack. You know, they light up. But I would, uh, I would definitely. Oh, that's kind of cool. I would, I would buy that. I just don't know where the heck we're gonna put it this year. I try not to over do my space at home like trying to Marie Kondoize it a little bit but man there's so much goodness and these are just like wall hangings these aren't even costumes nightmare before Christmas little hanging ghosts all sorts of good spooky stuff okay so this is their statuary this big bad boy I think was a hundred dollars and it's heavy it's big Yep, hundred bucks. They got a big dragon, and they're and they're uh, whatever they made the. Because I don't think it's stone, ceramic. I don't know, but they're very very heavy and big. So we're gonna put back. All right. So I opted to get just the smaller tombstone. Because this big one that says rip, that actually lights up, but it's big and heavy and I'm just like, I don't know where I'm going to put it. We're just trying to minimize as much as we can. Um, and they're heavy, like I said, so. All right, so I got everything back here at home. Um, kind of unpack a few things. We were only able to really hit like we hit three stores today. I think the Halloween stuff won't be out until probably I'm thinking beginning of like August, like first of August. That's a week away. So we got some pre stuff that hopefully will be a good sign of what's to come. And uh, I'm just kind of unpacking things here. Let's see what we got. We hit three stores, like I said. We went to a store called At Home, and then we went to Michael's, and then we went to um, Joanne Fabrics. And At Home was really, like I think, our best bet so far. <sighs> Michael's was frustrating because it's already a crowded store. They didn't really have a lot out. And what they did have out, we kind of realized like once we went over to Joanne's, these were some of it was like things that we could make at home. So, and Joanne's really didn't have much out, but they looked like they had space set aside to start um, unveiling their Halloween stuff. So, that's cool. All right, so what do we have here? First things first, as you saw in the cart, this was the light up red skull. This has got the little sample piece on it. Uh, I don't know where this will go sit at, but it's kind of cool. I like it. I dig it. I love the, the color because you wouldn't even realize it until it's lit up. Like it's like even without it being lit up, it's cool looking. I thought. Then this velveteen lore felt covered type skull i just liked how bloody red it looked i mean it looks really good in the lighting and it's freaking out the face recognition of this uh this deal here yeah i'm sitting on the floor doing this and then um we got these little candle holder candelabras they're they're really solid weight that's why i picked them um or why we picked them it's got some good details on the on each candle holder so those can go probably on our dining room table. And then, so here's the other one. To go with the candle holders, they had a whole bunch. And these are only three bucks for two candles. And they are the bleeding taper candles. So that's pretty cool. We got 10 because there's five holders here. I almost like bought all their stock, but I said, no, that wouldn't be worth it. And of course, there's uh, this octopus dude that lights up. He's cool looking. I don't know where I'm going to put him either. 
I, I'll probably incorporate him in my DJ set somewhere, somehow. But I thought he was really unique looking. Yeah, it's plastic, but it's pretty solidly molded plastic. Um, this we could put in the corner of the house, the shadow maker. And I just thought this was really cool. And again, I might use it for the DJ stuff or just to have around the house because I've been really fascinated by all these like galaxy lights. I keep getting ads for them. Um, and then again, my wife, she wanted the, the iridescent um, oil slick looking skull. So that'll probably go in her workspace, her office. And then just to have around more of the, the little bleeding candles. I thought those were kind of cool. If you light it, it looks like it just changes the color of the wax to red. It's a cool novelty idea. And I got a full skull one. And then I know already where I'm going to put these, these little jars. They're good. I mean, you can, you can put stuff in them if you want. But that'll probably go on my coffin shelf. Um, this is probably better off. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how it works for the DJ sets when I do those. But we don't have a house, and these would be great to have outside. And it looks like it has like a little lawn mount, but I don't know. Haven't we opened it? It looks like you could set it on a floor somewhere, and it should be okay. And what else do I have here? This big beast. This is heavy. And it looks like a bowl. So we might put like maybe some like black and red crushed flowers or something like that in here. Um, my gosh, it could just be like a candy dish or I, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but it's cool. Oh, and I did get the one of the tombstones. And I think that's it. Like I said, there's really just not much at home had a lot, but you know... It's still early in the season. We're just hitting the end of July. I guarantee there'll be more. And I do plan to do a few more outing hauls. This is all stuff that I got that I thought would be good for not just Halloween. Things that I wanted for decorating the home. Oh yeah. And I did get the Keep It Spooky for the office. Or somewhere in the house. So anyways, uh, let me know what you think of this haul review of Halloween goodness and comment, like, subscribe as always, keep it spooky and until next time.